Hey guys, this is Ned with TGN.TV and I'd like to welcome you to this video. Today I would like to show you a very cool gadget called the TGN Hub. Now, what is the TGN Hub you may ask? The TGN Hub lets you do all the stuff that you can do out of games, in games. I'm going to give you a classic example here everybody. Just imagine that you're playing a game like StarCraft or World of Warcraft and you're in the middle of a match or raid. You have to focus and there's no way you can get out of game when suddenly your annoying friends start messaging you and they won't stop. And now you have to get to them to shut them up. So you try to alt tab very quickly and the game freezes or messes up and the gameplay experience is generally ruined. Now the Overwolf hub is the answer to this. What the hub lets you do is, say while you're playing uh, StarCraft or World of Warcraft or many, many other games, it lets you access stuff like your Facebook, your MSN, it lets you access these in-game. So you can respond to people and do everything that you'd have to do out of a game, in the game. It's a really cool, amazing little tool and I'm going to show you some of its features right now, guys. So I'm just going to show off some of its features here. Now, you might be wondering where it is, and you might have noticed at the left of the screen, there's a little half-moon-shaped object. If I mouse over that, whoa, what's this? This is the TGN hub, and as you see, I can click it and drag it around the screen to put it wherever suits me, take the mouse away, and it disappears like that. So, it's not in your face, it's there handy to use, which is really nice. Now, if we mouse over it, the first feature I'd like to talk about is the browser. The TGN Hub has a built-in browser that lets you surf the web in a game. So I'm just going to click this up and open this. And you can see it takes us to the Overwolf main page. Now, this is an amazing tool, guys, uh, as you can imagine. So. You could be, I don't know, looking up tactics for a boss or how to do something while you're in a game. If you look here, we can go on YouTube. We can watch YouTube videos. Watch anything you want. It's really cool. And <laughs> damn awesome. So that's the browser. Do everything you can do on the web in a game. What do you think of that? I'd like to talk to you about a couple of other features. You can link your Facebook account to the TGN Hub tool, if I open it up right here. It's just fetching the news feed. And there we go, it's opened my Facebook. And you can see down here, there's a little camera button. If you have webcam, push this to take a picture, upload it instantly. And you can see there's a little slider at the bottom. If I move it to the right, it becomes more transparent. And if I move it to the left, it becomes more opaque. So you can do everything you do in your Facebook right here in the TGN. Here's another cool, cool thing guys, you can click on the video recorder and instantly record stuff in game and you can also take pictures and then you have the option to instantly upload it to a Facebook site. This is a really cool feature and actually it's one of my favourites of the hub, I use it a lot. Another quick feature I'd like to show you guys is the Skype button. If I just click on Skype, you can see I'm in. And I can call people or bring up the chat functions, this is separate so I can do all this really cool stuff um, because I use Skype quite a lot and I'm always trying to talk to people they're always calling me and I'm usually in a game so this really helps out a lot and it's an amazing and you can see if I click on the main uh, purple TGN button what's this all this really cool stuff comes up these are all the widgets and you can customize them to have which ones go up where which is really cool and I mean just look at some of these guys you have your you have your MSN Messenger, videos, screenshots, MySpace, Mebo, Skype, GameSpot, Facebook. You can even access your Google or Yahoo Mail. That's all in one little cool hub, guys. And also, another thing, if I click on the little spanner icon, it has all these options to customize it. For example, you can have a Facebook. You can make it automatically post when you start to play a game and it will give a news uh, flash every, well, however many minutes you set and this is really amazing. You also have an FPS monitor that will monitor your FPS in games and it looks really cool. I'll show you this in a minute. So this is really good and it also has a big, big list of supported games. 
Hello everybody and welcome to my desktop. You might wonder why we're here. Um, now first, um, something I forgot to mention, the hub supports DirectX 11 now, so you can play all your games in DirectX 11. The hub supports that and isn't that just brilliant? <laughs> And now I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how to install the hub. The hub is completely free for everyone. You don't even have to be a fan of TGN. Just go and install it and tell all your friends to because it's an amazing tool. And I'm going to show you here. Now the website you want to go to is www. Although there's HTTP there. I'll change that. So it's www.hub.tgn.tv. So let's just open a browser. It's www.hub.tgn.tv going to open this and now you see up here where it says get the TGN hub and there's a link it is currently for Windows only you want to click on this and then you see the TGN hub install is in the bottom just run it it's very easy to install and very quick just agree and install And it's just going to download that while it does this. A quick summary, guys. The TGN Hub lets you do all the stuff, or quite a lot of stuff, in-game that you wouldn't normally be able to do in-game. And I found many uses for this tool because I'm a kind of guy that hates all tabbing out of games to talk to people and whatnot. And it just lets me keep at the top of my game and on the ball. And also, it just comes with so many great features, and it just, it just compacts so many amazing yeah features and programs together that's normally you'd probably have to get from several different separate ones if you can get them at all it's well worth downloading it's completely free please share it with your friends and also there's going to be a competition with a very nice prize but that's going to be a bit later and that's going to be on the tgn world of warcraft channel so please keep your eyes peeled to that okay it's done Just have to close this. And is it there yet? Nope, not just yet. It's just doing the uh, configurations. So, ah, I knew this would happen just as I stopped it finished. So very quick to install, as you can see. And this is what you should see. A little uh, TGN hub logo there, as it just kind of updates. Also, guys, another thing to note, um, there we go, and it's finished, and you have to, before you use the gadgets, you just have to quickly confirm with the programs and type in your information, and that's, that's, that's all fine, it doesn't take very long to do. And also guys, if you click the little spanner at the top, go to general and about, your version should say 0 0.16, this is the latest version. And if it does not say that, then all you have to do is close the hub and restart it, and it will update automatically. So that's how to get the TGN hub. I hope you very much enjoy using it, and um, please give some feedback. Don't forget, you have all these cool gadgets there, all to use. It's completely free, so be creative. Do what you want with the hub. Make it amazing. Thank you very much, guys. This has been Ned with TGN.TV signing off. Thank you very much. Thank you.